Cynthia Luhu here. I altered another lamp, and this time this lamp is for my room. I'm actually going to do two, but I finished one. I'm going to show you that, and then this is the other one um, that I haven't done yet, but I wanted to be able to show the before and after. Uh, the shades that we had originally on our lamps were a little bit big, so I went to Ross, picked up a couple, and these were only $3.99 each. Not bad, um, and they were boring, just like a beige color but very easy to alter. And um, my room colors are, cherry, all, we got all cherry wood furniture and some brown, chocolate brown furniture. And then we have chocolate brown bedding and black accents. So this is the lampshade. Let me turn this light on. So here's the lampshade that I came up with, that I made. Um, <coughs> Um, I use some gardenias, I am roses gardenias, and some I am roses roses, <laughs> and here's some more, and I'll put the um, numbers, um, I still have some spider webs and stuff, I'll put the numbers in the, down in the description bar. Um, these are very fun to work with, sorry I have spray paint because I painted the base of the lamp, I'll show you in a minute. I um, I, on the, all of the gardenias, I used Cattail Copper Brown Color Shot, as well as uh, Bucket of Blood Red Shadow uh, Moon Shadow Mist. And the reason why I used both is because I got like halfway down on this one and I got scared because I didn't want to run out of one of my sprays. I kind of painted both on each. Um, and then for the um, black roses, which they're kind of a silvery gray, I lightened them up a bit. But I used one of the new Lindy's colors. Um, I love those dark rich colors. And then these little um, buttons that you see all around. I alternated a big, small, big, small. And what I used was copper metal mixatives. Right here, this stuff. I put that on first. Then I used... Um, Spanish copper rub and buff and just accented it with that and then I went over all of them just to seal them and give them a little shine my sparkle glaze um, glazing and then let that dry and then I went around and um, because I'm holding it at a weird angle it's not showing right but I, then I uh, swagged some black uh, beads and then this is that um, silk pleated trim you get at Hobby Lobby and then I got these flat back pearl flat back black pearls from Carla at Carla001 from her Etsy this really cool trim I got at my Ben Franklin's and it's this stuff and it's stretchy it's really pretty trim I love it and um, for the base of the lamp I used this like almost a copper burgundy um, organza and I cut a template because um, it's like little triangles all the way around like that and so I added that first and then I went over it with this black lace from this flat lace I got from Hobby Lobby okay so um, there is that I think I showed most of it Oh, and this bottom trim right here um, I get this from MB's Treasurista, and this was a brown colored, and I painted it with my uh, Bucket of Blood uh, Moon Shadow Mist, and it gave this beautiful, like, burgundy red shimmer. Just gorgeous. Okay, so there is the shade, and this is what the original base looked like, and this was just a cheap lamp we got at Walmart. Um, and our house, most of the fixtures in here are, um, what is this called, brushed satin. And we're converting over to, like, the bronze color. So this is how the lamp base turned out. And after I spray painted it, I spray painted it with, like, a bronze colored paint. And my husband's a paint contractor, so I have a ton of spray paint in my garage. So I'm going to get this lamp put together and then show you how it looks all together, the before and after. Be right back. Okay, so here it is before. It's just got the silver spiral base and then the plain lampshade. And the ones that we had before were kind of like that, but they were more creamy than tan. And then here is the after.
and then there's the base. And now I will turn them on. There's before and there's after. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Hubby likes it too. He's not really too fancy schmancy, but he knows that I take pleasure in making stuff like this and that it will make our room look a lot nicer. <laughs> so, and then there's that first one I did, the shabby chic one with the square lampshade. So there's all kinds of different things you can do. And please make sure if you do alter your lampshades, use a very low watt bulb. I'm using a 13 watt. And make sure that you never leave it unattended while it's on because you never know what's flammable, you know, how hot it's going to get. You just need to really be careful. So never, ever, ever have your lamps on unattended and make sure you get the lowest watt bulb possible. I hope you guys like my project. Thanks so much for watching. Love you all. Bye.